Gotcha. The Basil Reed Rook Slayer is a hunting horn in Monster Hunter World. It's actually kind of an expensive weapon to finish building. It costs one Basil Gears gem, and it costs three Zanajiva wing as well, which means you're going to have to get all the way to the end boss if you want to build the final upgrade for this weapon. It has one of the best looking weapon models in the game for the hunting horns. The head of the hammer appears to be a drum with furs around it, and it has a nice drum beat when you're actually using a buff. When we take a look at Basil Reed Rook Slayer's attributes, we see that it has a very high attack value of 840. The Desolation's Overture, that's the Nergi Hunting Horn, has an attack value of 882, so it's a little lower. Also, you'll notice this has negative affinity, and it has a very small blue sharpness bar. It's also worth noting that the Heavy Bone Horn is also a contender for being able to outdamage the Basil Reed Rook Slayer. You see, the Heavy Bone Horn only has uh, an attack value of 798. However, it does have three augmentation slots, whereas Basil Reed Rook Slayer only has one, and the Heavy Bone Horn is able to use the Elementless Decoration. So some of the other things to note about its attributes is that it does deal blast damage, which is nice. Blast damage is the only status ailment that doesn't degrade while the monster is moving around. So, you know, something like poison, you have to build it up, and when you stop building it up, it actually degrades. Blast doesn't do that, just every time you build it, it continues to build. You also notice it has two rank 2 decoration slots, which is always very useful. In fact, if you think about it, the KO decoration, that's the slugger decoration, uh, you know, that's a rank 2 decoration. So you could potentially just put two KO decorations right in there. Now, when it comes to hunting horns, we're always interested in looking at the buffs on the weapon. That's one of the ways that we really decide if it's a good hunting horn or not. And this one has the attack up large buff. So really it is, it's a good one. Uh, you know, in the case that you're carrying noobs with you, uh, you know, it really is generally noobs that need the defense up large buff. When you have really experienced players who they've built appropriately for whatever it is they're fighting, you know, the defense up large buff is nice. It allows them to play a little more aggressively in my opinion, but it's not necessarily uh, necessary, right? So attack up large directly contributes to the team's output and that's what makes it one of the most favorable buffs in the game for hunting horns. It also has health recovery small and recovery speed large. Those are both nice. It increases your team's survivability anyways. The only problem I would say is that they, you know, they require you to mix in other moves other than your super pound. So, you know, it's questionable whether you should be using them or whether you should just be strictly using your super pound. All right, so now we know that the Basil Reed Rook Slayer is really a hunting horn you're going to build later in the game. We've seen that you can compare it to Desolation's Overture and the Heavy Bone Horn somewhat. Yeah, you know, the Heavy Bone Horn also has the attack up large buff. And then finally, we've taken a look at the buffs and decided these are pretty strong buffs on this weapon. The last thing we can talk about is really what monsters are countered the hardest by the Basil Reed Rook Slayer and probably how we should build it. The first thing I would point out is that the attack up buff is a passive buff. So you could bring the Sonorous Jewel with you, that will give you the Maestro skill. And the Maestro, or Maestro skill, however it's pronounced, uh, that skill essentially it increases the time that a passive buff uh, stays active. So the rest of the things you might consider for your build is whether or not to build defense. Since this horn doesn't have a defense up large buff, you might consider it just, you know, it depends on your skill as a hunting horn player or what you want to do, how casual you want to play, how comfortable you want to play. But, uh, you know, essentially, I think the defense skill itself is always a really good skill. Uh, since you are using a hunting horn and hunting horns don't get as good of elemental defense, you could consider building elemental defense based on whatever it is you're about to fight. You could also build the Divine Blessing skill, that's always a great skill in my opinion. Uh, and then on the other side, if you want to deal more damage, you, you would build the attack skill, uh, one of the most valuable skills in the game. It's just the attack skill. You could also build the weak spot skill, just depends on what you want to do really. And finally, when we're talking about who you should probably fight using the Basil Reed Rook Slayer, you know, first of all, I guess I could say any monster that's weak to blast should be considered because it will just increase your output even more. But honestly, uh, you know, since you have the attack up large buff, 
you could take this against anyone. It's the same deal when you're using the Gamma Horn and the Fortissimo. They have the attack of large buff. Any team's going to appreciate that buff. It doesn't matter who you fight. It's a very generic buff. Uh, if you if you do pick enemies who are weak to blast, here are the enemies who are especially weak to blast. You have the Elder Dragon, Kushala Deura, you have Paolumu, you have Radoban, and you have Barret. So those guys are extra weak to blast. Anytime you run into them, you can always grab the Basil Reed Rook Slayer. Alright, well I hope that helps you guys inform your opinion about this weapon and when you want to use it. I do think it's one of the best hunting horns in the game just because of its attack up large buff and its high base attack value. That being said, I don't know if I would use it over the Gamma Horn just because Gamma Horn already does have the attack up large buff. It actually does do a decent amount of damage without the negative affinity. And then it also does get the health boost and the uh, defense boost large. So, you know, on top of that, all, all wind negated, right? That's useful when you're fighting Paolumu and when you're fighting uh, Kushala de Aura. We were just talking about how those guys are weak to blast. Well, the Gamma Horn actually deals blast damage. So it becomes harder and harder to justify using the Basil Reed Rook Slayer. Maybe the final argument for the Basil Reed is just that it looks better and it sounds better. You know, fashion, right? <laughs> all right, well, I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Oh my gosh, you guys! I just want to thank y'all so much!